What's going on my YouTube peeps? So check this out. I was digging in my vaults, right? And uh, I pulled up something that was special for y'all. Uh, I'm in my old kitchen and I'm putting together an old recipe. So um, I was working on a mango, uh, pineapple, spicy uh, chutney. So I decided that uh, I'll put that together for you guys to enjoy. And you know what? I want to get some comments back. You know, tell me what you think. And uh, if you, you know, if you have the ingredients, go out there and make it yourself. Okay? So uh, this is your Nate Dog, your Nate Dog 2020, and um, I'll be seeing you guys soon. I have a pineapple here. First of all, you want to take the crown off. I got my music going, my little inspirational music. All right, first of all, we want to just cut the top off like so. And cut the bottom off like so. We won't be needing that. Now we can always use this for a garnish, you know, if I was making a platter or something. Next thing you want to do is you want to shave the sides right on off. Straight down like so. Now we want to cut out the core. So this is the easiest way I'm going to go about doing it. Just cut the core out simply like so. All right. That's more than I'm going to need for my recipe. I'm going to use about this amount here. Now I already uh, cut up the mango. The mango is a little bit harder than the pineapple. And that's what we have right there. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the mango. We're gonna put the mango to a saucepan like so. I've already pre-measured out a cup of water. I'm gonna put a cup of water up in there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stove top working here and I'm gonna rest, add the rest of the, uh, the ingredients, excuse me, <laughs> the rest of the ingredients uh, as it simmers down. We're gonna start bringing it up to a boil. This recipe that I'm using is uh, my own recipe. Uh, I got inspiration from several others. I'm gonna put a half, a cup of white vinegar. Now, while that's coming to a boil, I got my seasonings. And let me go ahead and show you my seasonings. Coriander, I'm gonna use some red curry powder, some uh, turmeric, some uh, cloves, some cumin. I'm gonna use some uh, orange peel, and I'm gonna use uh, some chipotle flakes for some heat. I'm also gonna be using some of my pico that I used up. This has multi-purposes, -pur uh, and um, I think it's gonna go really good up in here. Um, that'll have onions. Uh, it'll have peppers up in there. You know, some tomatoes. A uh, bunch of spices that'll really spice up the um, uh, the chutney. By the way, I'm gonna put a half tea, a uh, half teaspoon of each in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start adding our seasonings in. Actually, um, let me make a correction. I'm going with a quarter, uh, quarter teaspoon. All right, boy. Clothes are pretty strong. I like that. That's good. Oh yeah, look it. See, it's coming up. All right, once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna just turn the heat down a little bit so it can simmer. I'm gonna go by eyes. We'll eyeball this these flakes. Very nice, very nice, just like that. And last but not least, I got my orange peel. Go up in there real nice, just like that. So the flavors are concentrate as it reduces. Turn the fan on, get some circulation up in here. All right, now we can't forget the sugar. Got some light brown sugar here. Yes. Okay. Now, all you guys out there, I'm always uh, 
interested in learning something new. So, if you have any suggestions on how you would put this together or how you would like to put this together, by all means, I'll put add my pineapples. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more pineapples. Just to even it out a little bit. Absorb some of that. Okay, well, here goes the uh my pico. I have my pico up in here. We should have uh give us some onions, give us some additional flavors. That was four tablespoons of the mixture, and we'll mix it all together now. This will take about 20 minutes or so. We want to cook this down to a nice consistency. And um, can't forget salt. Always got to put salt. Like so. Uh, just a little bit more. There we go. I'm not one for keeping recipes, you know. Just like everything else in life, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So sometimes uh, I'll make these dishes and they'll come out a little more lit than uh, the next time. Uh, we're gonna want that to reduce down a little bit more than that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's reducing just nice. Well, I can smell all the ingredients up in here. I'm gonna have to rename this into a spicy chutney because it's gonna come out spicy, but I'm not afraid of it. Oh, that's fire. Mm, that's fire. That right there is fire. Oh yeah, that's good. Now, this is what I'm going to do. The application for this chutney is as a dipping sauce. So, I'm gonna wanna break down these chunks just a little bit so that um, I can get some of the fruit texture on what I'm planning on using it to dip with. So we're gonna go ahead, break this up just a little bit. This is what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That was really starting to reduce down. All right, that's what we're looking at. That's what you wanna see. Consistency wise, that's right at perfect. We're gonna go ahead and let it cool down and um, package it up. I tasted it, it's sweet and spicy. Beautiful, it's so good. Okay, there we go. That's the finished product. And it's fire too, it is fire. Now I might be able to just eat that all day.